Hello, my name is Dave. I am with Malco Products out of the Minneapolis, Minnesota. And today I want to talk to you about how to show and demonstrate and properly get set up for the Malco Turbo Shear so when you sell the product to a customer that you're able to educate them as to how to properly use and set up the tool. So we have three different products in the line. The first is our Turbo Shear Heavy Duty. So the Turbo Shear Heavy Duty is our best selling product. It was designed to cut 1.3 millimeter thick metal. It has a very thick lower blade which allows it to cut that heavier metal. We also made a product called the Turbo Shear Corrugated Metal. So it's Malco model number TSCM, as in Turbo Shear Corrugated Metal. One of the things that you'll notice about this is the blades, the lower blade is a lot smaller than the Turbo Shear Heavy Duty. Because of that, it's only able to cut 1.0 millimeter thickness. The blades are set farther away from the tool than they are on the Turbo Shear Heavy Duty. The blades are also at a different angle than the Turbo Shear Heavy Duty. This allows this product to cut corrugated metal roofing as well as the IBR panel where you have to get into the inside corners of the panel to be able to, to make a nice cut. Now both of these snips operate like a red aviation snip where they will cut straight, they'll do a little bit to the right, but they're very aggressive going to this way. You also end up with having one side that is good quality and you have the other side that is scrap that you're going to throw away. And that brings me to my third product, which is our TurboShear MD, the T model TSMD from Melco. So this product provides a solution when you're cutting and you want to be able to use both sides of the metal after you're done cutting. So this product has two cutting edges and so on and each cutting edge is of high quality. And so you don't end up with the scrap side. This product is better for flat metal stock and again it will cut up to one millimeter thickness. When you get your turbo shear out of the, out of the box that it comes in, this is the sh standard shipping box for the turbo shear corrugated metal and for the turbo shear heavy duty. When they come out of the box, it's set up like this and then there are a couple of spacers in the back of the tool. Now when you're using any brand of drill, let's say a DeWalt, Milwaukee, Bosch, Makita, any of those brands where the drill is narrow, you're able to use the, use the setup exactly like it is right out of the box. Now when you're using a Fest tool, which is a bigger, stronger, more powerful drill, it has a bigger body than the standard drill. In that case, what, I want, what you want to do is take those spacers out of the back here and move them up to the front. So you loosen up this screw here, take the bolt out, put a spacer into each side. Because with the wide drill, you end up with a triangle and you won't be able to get the bolts in the, the bolt in the back to be able to screw down. By using these spacers, you have them more straight on and you're able to get the, the drill to attach or the clamps to attach to the drill better. So now I'm going to do some cutting with the Turbo Shear Heavy Duty. So the Turbo Shear Heavy Duty will chuck up like any drill bit. Simply chuck it in and tighten it up. Now the, the arms of the, of the drill, of the drill clamp, will telescope in and out so that it will fit the length of the drill. It will also open and close so that you can fit the back end of the drill. So when you do it, you want to make sure that these spacers are not blocking the air vents because you don't want to overheat the drill. So I'm going to turn the thumb screw on the back end of the drill and I'm going to tighten it down so that it won't come loose off the drill. And you can just check it and make sure that it's good. So when you're cutting, there is a sweet spot up and down. And when you practice with the tool, you want to find that sweet spot. Now the other thing that you want to do is tilt the tool slightly to the right so that you're getting this, the flat part of this blade even with the, the layer of the metal. So the natu people's natural reaction is to take the, cool, the tool and cut straight up and down like this. And it, that will work. 
but for the better performance, you want to make sure that the tool has a bit of a tilt to it. And it will cut a lot faster and a lot easier. So the tool obviously will make a straight cut, and I can also make curved cuts, both to the right and to the left, okay? And it will also get very aggressive, so I can also cut a t relatively tight circle. Okay, and you end up with a reasonably good quality edge on the product. Now another, another feature of the turbo shear is that if you're cutting and the battery is ba bumping into the middle of the material, you can loosen this set screw up on the top. And what that does is that allows the head to change angle and now I can cut and have that battery out of the way. Or if I want to work overhead, I can, I can hold it up like this and operate the tool. So this screw allows the head to turn 360 degrees. So as you are cutting with the product over time, the blades are gonna wear down a little bit. So simply take this hex key out of the slot that it comes with, and there is a set screw adjustment. And, and when the blade you start seeing the cutting performance drop off, you take the hex key and you do maybe an eighth of a turn and what that will do is bring the blades back together again to, re to give you that improved cutting performance. And you can want to continue doing this until you can't make any adjustments anymore. And when that happens, then you want to switch over and you're going to want to buy a replacement blade set from Melco Products. You can, do not try to resharpen the blades on your own. They are a computer controlled grind and, you, and if you try to do it yourself, you're just gonna make a mess out of it. By using the blades, you'll be able to get about 1.5 kilometers of cutting use out of these blades before you need to replace them. And when it's time to replace the blades, that same hex key that you used to make that adjustment will also allow, is also used to take the case apart. When you do that, you take the old blades out, you put the new blades in, you put, we use the grease supplied in the kit, put that back in and button it back up, and then you reset your adjustment screw back to, the, to where it's able to cut well. There's no brushes, there are no gears. Other than changing the blades out like that, there's virtually no maintenance to do on the product. It's a very solid product. Melco, Melco Products has been making this product since 2002. It has a fantastic track record of performance and adding value to customers. So thank you for taking a minute to watch this video.